A Life of Reality and Fantasy by Kenya Chapter 5, Phase 2, with 1001 Words I sat on the steps of his TARDIS, thinking, worrying, and whatever else you doing when you are confused and scared. The master had gone to check out what was going on, though that had been about an hour or two ago. I was getting panicky. I went to the doors and peeked out. Nothing was there. Slowly, I edged out of the TARDIS, still looking for aliens, even though I was basically an alien now. I moved to another room. Nothing. Three or four rooms later, I found the master. Master! I ran to him. He turned, looking horrified. Go back! He hissed. But I was worried. I began, but the look in his eyes told me to not to argue with him. Thus, I turned to, hit to head back to the TARDIS, only to find my way blocked by Daleks. I backed right into the master. Daleks! I shivered. Don't worry, the master whispered. Don't worry, I repeated. Don't worry, we are surrounded by Daleks. How can I not worry? I promised, remember? The master looked at me. Actually, you just kind of said you wouldn't let them get me. I corrected him. He stopped, as if thinking about it. Ah, right, he said. Well, I promise you now, Kenya. No Dalek will hurt you. Let's see how long that lasts, I muttered under my breath. If I was right in thinking what was going to happen, then yes, it will hurt me but only because I stopped all trials of thought. If this like anything I planned for my character, the master was in danger, unless I traded myself to the Daleks for his safety. I looked around at all the Daleks. Phase two can begin. The other must be exterminated, a Dalek finally said before any could move. I stepped in front of the master. Exterminate him! You'll have to exterminate me first, I said, knowing that they would let him leave him by knowing that they would let him leave him be only until I lived through phase two, which I doubt I would live through it. What are you doing? the master hissed. Saving you. The Daleks won't kill me, yet. They need me for phase two, I told him in a hushed voice. You're going to get yourself killed, the master said. Just watch, I looked at him. I know what they want. Please, trust me, I begged quietly. The master gave a stiff nod as a Dalek came forward. You stay. He goes it said. Do as it says, the I told the master. What? Now you are crazy, the master exclaimed. Trust me, I said. Please, I promise to be safe. I hugged him. Return in five minutes. Then lead the Daleks away from wherever they take me, I whispered. You learned a lot being away from Gallop Frey. He returned my hug. Five minutes. He left, the Daleks letting him pass by. I had to follow them to the chamber where phase two was to take place. Unlike in my story, the armor for my character was different. There were two boot-like machines identical to the bottom of the Daleks, the thing with the round things on. You mean the trash cans? The rest was hidden. I am sure there was more to phase two than I previously thought out. I shivered. A Dalek nudged me forward. I was soon ready for phase two. I closed my eyes as the leg armor began to close. It didn't hurt as much at the time. It didn't hurt as much at this time. Then again, I didn't have felt. I heard a noise just at bits of metal in the leg armor cut into my leg. All the Daleks got to business, find whatever that made the noise and destroy it. The leg armor stopped. I gave a sigh of relief, which became a cry of torturous pain. I forgot about the collar thing. It burnt into my skin around my neck. It was a good thing I am a time lady. If I die, I will just regenerate. All the voices in my head were suddenly blocked. A horrifying voice took their place. You are going to join me as the ruler of the Time Daleks. I am not a Dalek, and I never will be, I thought. Kinya! Timey yelled, breaking free from the voice. I opened my eyes. The Dalek armor was destroyed. I smiled happily and left. F I found the master facing the Daleks. Leave him, I said. Phase two incomplete. Explain, explain, the Dalek said. I am the princess. I am 2,284 years old from the planet Gallifrey in Constellation Caster Hooverus. I stood tall. I am a Time Lady, not a Dalek. You will be a Dalek. You will be BOOM! I stood half-shocked. The Master was holding something. Then I remembered. His laser screwdriver. Yes, it was a laser, but it stood for light amplification by stimulated emissions of radiation. The laser itself was capable of killing its target. It could also artificially age them. It can only do that thanks to the built-in hypersonic sound wave manipulation technology developed by Lazarus Laboratories. The laser screwdriver also had isomorphic controls, 
like the doctor's TARDIS, meaning only the master could use it. He suddenly grabbed my hand, pulling me into his TARDIS before any more Daleks could come before any more Daleks could could come and find a load of dust. I fell onto the te I fell onto the steps. My head ached. The voices the voices were louder than ever. I heard the master working. I lay my head on the cold metal steps. My neck aches where I had been engraved upon. I was unusually tired. I closed my eyes, just for a moment. 